Again, for the setup, we don't really need to plug it in right now, so we're not gonna plug it in, but you could be charging it up while we do this. Now with a brand new Mac, as soon as you open it up, actually not even a brand new Mac, but almost all M Macs right now, once you just open it up, you're gonna see that it turns on by itself. Now let's say your Mac didn't turn on by itself. Right here, that's the power button. Just touch it and there you go. Technically, it's supposed to just turn on by itself if you touch any key, but especially the power key. And that's also your touch ID. So your touch ID is right here, also your power key. All right, so at this point, we're gonna go in with the setup. You're gonna use your trackpad. So this is our trackpad. That's what you have to use for the whole setup. The first thing you just have to do is just move it around. You're gonna see your mouse right there moving around and just click here on the bottom. Just click there and to click, you just press down on your trackpad and there you go. Later on, we can change it so you don't have to actually click. You can just can go on and tap just like you tap on your phone or your tablet, which is good. So you guys don't have any wear and tear. Anyways, let's just keep going. Uh, you can choose any language that you would like. So scroll down, you guys can see all the languages available at the moment. We're gonna go on with English, which is our first option. Then select this arrow on the right hand side. It's gonna take you to the next thing. And something you may want even before starting the setup is to create an Apple ID. But I'll show you how to do that if you guys don't have one. So right now you're gonna select your country or region. Just press on continue. You could set up anything from here if you need it, but most of you won't. So let's just put in that now. We're gonna hook up our internet. So just choose any Wi-Fi network. So we're gonna go on and choose this one for now. Once you put in your password, go on and click on continue on the bottom right hand side. Now I'd like to note that up here, you guys can see your battery percentage. So as you may notice, it's got battery. So it's supposed to come with some charge and I've never seen a Mac that came in without any charge. Actually, if that would ever happen to me, it could be completely dead. For sure, exchange it, return it, because that would damage the battery itself depending how long it's been dead for. So it needs to have some charge once you guys get it. All right, our next screen will be data and privacy. Just go on into continue on the bottom right hand side. Then you guys can do migration. So if you had a Mac before, you would just follow up. But this video is for beginners. So I'm assuming you guys never had a Mac before. I do have a separate video that teaches you how to transfer all your information from one Mac to another, which is the same thing whichever Mac you guys have, whether it's an iMac, or a MacBook to another MacBook. It's exact same instructions for all of you, no matter which Mac you guys have. But uh, I do, again, have a separate video for that. Right now, what we're gonna do is just not migrate anything because I'm assuming you're new. So on the bottom left-hand side, press not now. And right here's your Apple ID. So at this point, create an Apple ID if you don't have one, put one in if you have one. I, how do you guys can create one? Well, your second option down here below will say create new Apple ID. I'm gonna click there so you guys can see how that looks like. Go on and put new Apple ID, put in your birthday, and then keep going with everything that it's asking you. It's gonna ask you for your email. So just putting whichever email you use, whether it's Gmail, Hotmail, putting a passcode. That password would be different than whatever you use for your email itself. Technically it could be the same one, but I highly suggest using a different one. And then you would be done creating that Apple ID. You could also not put an Apple ID, which I suggest not doing if this is for you. If you're setting this up to maybe sell it to somebody or as a present, you want it to be set up kind of already, then go on and set up later. So you don't need to put an Apple ID. So we're gonna skip that for now. And then you would see this. So regardless, if you put an Apple ID or you didn't, you would see this next up. Just click on I agree down here below. Agree again. And then you're gonna see this, create a computer account. So just putting any name that you like, create a password that makes sense to you. You can put a hint for it and then just click on continue on. By the way, you can continue without putting the hint. That's just optional. So right now it's just gonna take a little bit just to create that account. And then we're gonna be almost done. It's gonna ask us to set up Siri. It's gonna ask us to set up fingerprint as well. Um, which you could skip a lot of that stuff if you don't want to. Location services, I highly suggest having that on just so Google Maps works better and everything works better really. Uh, share your data. You don't need to share anything that you don't want. I suggest sharing it with Apple just so they can make this better, but you don't have to. Screen time, this is more if this is for your kids or something like that. I don't use it myself really. Uh, whenever I use my Mac, it's just for work 
or for anything like that. So I don't really care how much time I spend on the screen. Uh, if you guys do want to take a look at all that stuff, you guys can set up. But in this case, I'm going to set up later. Uh, Siri. Siri is awesome to set up. So right now, uh, we can enable Siri. Now I'm going to show you how to set up Siri right this second. So all we have to do is press on continue on the bottom right hand side. Choose your voice. I think number four is Hi, the number one. I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to yeah. use. You guys can choose any other voice that you would like. Settings. Press continue. And here we go. We're just going to read what it tells us here. And that's it. It's going to recognize our voice from then. So let's just go into continue on. Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. And there we go, Siri is ready. So that's all we have to do. Just read whatever he told us to read. Going to continue. You can share your audio recordings or not. I'm gonna share them. You don't have to. I know a lot of people don't like to do that, so don't do it if you don't want to. Touch at the So like I mentioned before, up here on the top right hand side, that's your power button and touch ID. So that's your fingerprint and it's extremely easy to set up. So we're gonna go into continue. All we have to do is just tap away here. So choose any finger that you like really, but we're just gonna tap there and keep pointing up, down, up, down, up, down. Again, we're tapping, we're not really pressing down and we're gonna do that for a second time. We're just placing our finger on top, going to continue and done. So right here, you can choose whether you want a dark look to this, so let me just show you. That's the dark look or the light mode, or both. So during the day, it's gonna look like this, and then at nighttime, it's gonna turn dark, so it's easier on your eyes. In terms for this video, it's just better if I choose that so you guys can see better, but I definitely like the dark mode, just personally. Going to continue, and we are done our setup. So the basic stuff that you guys get on your Mac would be these apps down here below. You can see them all. So those are the basic apps. So let me just show you a little bit better. So again, all these are basic apps that you always get with your Mac. You can download any other ones. And here they are. So here are all the basics. Let me just show you in here. You have more apps. And that's it. That's all your Macs that you guys get. Uh, let me just show you which one does what. So GarageBand, that's to edit audio music. You guys can create music there. Um, iMovie, edit videos. Then we have stuff like Pages, which is like Microsoft Word, Numbers, which is like Excel. We've got, what else do we have here that you guys might use right away? Would be Books, well, Books, not really, not that many people would use that. Although I like it, that's where you guys can download some books. There's a lot of free ones as well. Apple TV, that's a hub. So you guys could go into there for Netflix or anything really, or Apple TV Plus, there's channels in there. So it's just a hub for a lot of channels you guys can get and there's one that i don't see for some reason but it's down here below it's keynote and that's like powerpoint so that's down here below anyways i'm just gonna click away and to get to that thing where it's going to show me all the apps that i have i just I can just click here like so all right and what else should you guys know that's it i mean you guys can start playing with your mac right now i do have a manual that teaches you how to Go about your Mac and setting things up and using your Mac. However, this is just a setup video. You guys are all set up. And that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.